stay with the tinny. We're gonna do two search teams, one medic each. Team Alpha, Swain with me, that way. Team Bravo, Buffer, Shefo, Seaman Webb, that way. Marine research, she'll be camped on the beach. Shefo, take the beach, look for signs of a recent landing. Spider, with me. Got to admit, she's effective. Oh, she's always been effective. I'm agreeing, she's effective. Yeah. And on a big ship where you're not all joined at the hip, do you think she'll fit in? Did you two have a problem at HMAS Watson? She ran a short course I was on, intermediate navigation. And? She was a hard taskmaster. X-ray 2, this is Charlie 2. I'm not receiving. Over. Chef O. This is X-ray 2, Team Bravo. I've found her. Swain! <sighs> X-ray 2, I've found her. Over. X-ray 2, this is Charlie 2. I'm not <laughs> uh, you're, you're breaking up. Say again. Over. Lisa, can you tell us what happened? Okay. Can you squeeze my hand? What about your toes? Try wiggling them for us. It's all right. We're going to take care of you, OK? Uh, we could have a spinal injury here. So we can't just take it back to the ship? Oh, man, we don't dare move her. We need to get a doctor on the radio to find out what to do. Charlie 2, this is X-ray 2, over. Oh, great. Our team Bravo, this is X-ray 2, over. X-ray 2, this is Bravo 2, over. We're in a dead spot for the ship. Send Chefo to us and you and Seaman Webb find high ground. Roger that, X-ray 2. Chefo, you heard that? Spider, Spider. Come on. Coming. Charlie 2, this is Bravo 2, over. This is Charlie 2, loud and clear. This is Bravo 2, request you raise base by sat phone. We need to talk to a doctor immediately. Over. Roger, Charlie 2 out. Walk it off. Dr. Pullos, are you online? Patient can't move her limbs and is having trouble breathing. We're reluctant to move her. What do you advise? Dr. Poulos wants a nose to toes examination. Uh, any sign of a spider bite or a snake bite? Tell me she's in crisis. Team Bravo, this is X ray 2, over. Bravo 2, patient appears to be paralysed. She's having trouble breathing. We could lose her, over. Day we get a visit from the Navy, eh, Sam? Not every day, Carl, no. <laughs> ah, Seaman Boson's mate, Webb. There you go. Here's a medical emergency, a woman scientist. Oh, right. She'd be the one camping there near the beach, then. Yeah, that's the one. And she's in some kind of trouble. Oh, everything's under control now. Oh, good. <laughs> He's wondering what we're doing here, Sam. Mate, we're in the fishing business. Especially crustacea for fish markets and quality restaurants. Go on. Really? Yeah. Cool. Is there any money in it? Making them lots of money. <laughs> you uh, care to buy back? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ziggy. Uh... Done, mate. Awesome. Cheers, guys. What do they call you? Uh, spider. Spider, eh? I'm Carl. Carl. Sam. 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 Charlie 2, this is Sierra 2, over. Look at that. Look at 
Charlie 2, this is Sierra 2, over. I can't understand you. Do you know what he's trying to say? Well, he's probably not too stoked about going to Bright Island on account of the curse. Oh, don't you start. Charlie 2, this is Sierra 2, nothing heard, out. We're out of contact, aren't we? Oh, these things need line of sight at the best of times. Yeah, all we need. Don't worry, mate. It's probably just the curse of Bright Island. We're all down. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Yes. Yes! Sir, they reckon she's getting worse. Next swelling up, she's gasping for air. Roger. Dr. Pulos, is there anything they can do for her breathing? Swain, Dr. Pulos says you need to get air into her lungs, and for that she needs an emergency tracheo tracheo tracheostomy. Swain? Swain, are you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. I've um, I've just never done one of those. Well, you've got to do one now. We could lose her. I'm going to talk you through it, mate. OK. Roger. I'm give her a tracheostomy. Like that, they're cutting in the throat open there. Lisa, we've got a doctor online, and he's going to be talking us through it, OK? OK, you're going to need a scalpel or a very sharp knife. Yeah, we've got a scalpel. After you make the incision, you're going to need to insert a tube. He's asking whether or not there's something called a tracky tube in the first aid kit. No. Are you sure? Ma'am, I check those kits every time we go to see it, and I've never even heard of a tracky tube. What's a tracky tube? Right, it's any thin piece of tubing. Hey, Chef, are you going to check her gear? Maybe there's something there we can cannibalise on. Anything, mate. OK, we're running out of time. What's happening, Buffer? They're still looking for a tube, sir. Tell X she's got a pistol. Use it. You want him to shoot her? Tell X to break down a browning, remove the 9mm barrel, use it as a tube. Over. I got it. Shoot her. Well, that's one way of ending a crisis. OK, got it, Buffer. I'll take the radio. Sure. Go ahead. OK, the doc says you're looking for an indentation just below where the Adam's apple would be on a bloke. Yeah, OK, got it. OK, got it. Right, you need to make a one centimetre horizontal incision about one centimetre deep. Pinch the incision to open it. Insert the tube half an inch to an inch deep. OK. Charlie 2, this is Bravo 2. Patient's breathing again. We're leaving the ridge now to transport her back to the Hammersley. Roger. Well done, Buff. Out. Where have you been? Shopping or what? Uh, I ran into some fishermen. Just got some crabs for chef, mate. Nice work. Come on, let's go. What's all that about? Oh, he just said he was hungry. And you look delicious. I could do with some scran myself. Where the hell's Hammersley? They might have forgotten about you, Jeff. There's no way they're not coming back for me. You reckon the X and Nav both want your body, don't you? Oh, that'd be the natural order of things, yeah. <laughs> hey. Look. They gotta eat, but I want you to keep an eye on them.
right? Yep. Okay, let's lower down. Just be really careful with the neck, guys. We haven't rolled out spinal. I'm really sorry, ma'am. I can't give you anything for the pain. It might affect your breathing. Just try and relax, okay? Because we're doing everything we can. Just moisten the lips or something just to keep it comfortable. I'm going to go and tidy up. Be back. How's Swain doing? He did a first-rate job in adverse circumstances. Just what was going on on the island? Well, she was camped there with scientific and diving gear, which I've sent the tinny back to collect, but what she was doing working there on her own, I have no idea. Fully qualified doctor, you wouldn't be on a patrol boat. No, but the X-ray said you did a first-rate job. You know, I never had any trouble using appropriate force when I was a copper, but putting that knife into that lady's throat. You saved a life. Yeah, but I nearly froze out there, so. Well, I'd rather you did that than enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. How's the wife? How's Sal? Glowing, sir. Second trimester, halfway through. You make a good dad. Reckon? Yes, I do. Uh, sir, we still can't get radio contact with our guys on the fishing boat. What's up? You can't get the gas lit. You should see this thing he's going to try and cook on. Well, they don't live in a lap of luxury like we do. There's no chefs for them. Oh, you're feeling sorry for them now? Yeah. But they're scooping up fish out of our reserves. And we need them there for our kids and their kids. <laughs> near where the fishing boat ought to be. It doesn't make sense unless... They're almost impossible to sink. Get us there as fast as we can. Roger, sir. Revolutions 880. There's such a thing as a pipe, eight, eight, sir. Zero, Keep trying to raise E.T. and Jaffa. As I was doing when you shouted, sir. There we go, Nav. I factored in their speed from the last known position. The foreign fishing vessel's got a compass, so they should be on course, yet still nothing on radar. How's our patient? Not good, sir. Take it, X. Should be NAFCOM. Hammersley, Lieutenant McGregor. Right. Swain. NAFCOM have been in touch with her firm. Her boss is a Dr. Ursula Morell and says that Dr. Holmes has been running tests on the waters off Bright Island. So what's that tell us? Speculation, but we could be looking at a seaborne toxin or even an allergic reaction. Well, that's as specific as they got. Except it's clearly a poisoning of some kind. Is there any treatment they say we should be administering? Dr. Poulos says to continue as you are, manage the symptoms, keep her breathing, and uh, he said get it back to base ASAP. And when is that going to be, man? As soon as we find DT and Jaffa. Swain, we're all doing the best we can. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Relax. Relax. Can I do anything? It's going to be okay. Just move some gauze 